Yo, yo, yo. Mic check one, two, one, two. What is up? Nobody. So I went live last night and YouTube did not tell anybody. Just as though they did right now, it seems like. But that's okay. That is completely fine. I don't know. YouTube must got something against me. But that's okay. So I wanted to tell you guys. Hi, Sharita. Hey, Dunda. Hey, KP. Hey, Dominican. Hey, everybody. Mahak, Life of Destiny. Hi, Sneha, Alicia, mwah, 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 Emmy, love you guys. D, Tarsha, Jacob, you guys. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. Let me focus, focus. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and tell you guys that um, this full moon, the hunter's moon, is a different one. And the reason that is, is because we have two full days, two days of 100% illumination. Looking like a rock star. Thanks, girl. Look, I'll show you these cute-ass tights I got on. Hold on, I got to show you these Halloween tights. Can you see? Aren't they adorable? They're skulls. Anyway, so I just had to show you. I got them at Walmart, too. I'm a Walmart shopper, y'all. I don't give a fuck. I can make anything look good. If you a fly bitch, if you a bad bitch, you can make anything look good. Dollar store, family dollar, Walmart. It don't even matter. You still look fly. Anyways, enough of that conceitedness. $4. $4.99. Yes, girl. Yes. So, uh, I have no shame. I really don't care. People that just throw away money on... I mean, I have some designer labels, but people that just throw it, like, constantly, they just won't wear anything unless it's designer, that's whack. No offense to anybody who does it, but that's, uh, I save money. I'm, I'm, I've always been smart with money, so I'm not just gonna, unless it's tax deductible, I'm not just gonna just throw away money on stupid shit. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay, so we get two full days of 100%. Hoazin. I just read your letter, baby, and I just want to say, I want to give my condolences to you for your dad. I want to give my condolences to Dee for her uncle and Patrona for her friend. Um, they always say deaths happen in threes, and in, in this case, it did. So that's, and it always does. So um, I just want to give my condolences. I'm very sorry for you guys' loss, and I love you guys all so much. Ooh, let me change the subject. So anyway, um, 100% illumination, okay, for two days. So it's so basically it's going to, tomorrow the moon is full at 5 p.m., around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and so it'll actually be smaller than normal because this full moon, the hunter's moon, is the furthest away from, I guess, the earth. I don't know. For some reason, I, I don't remember the exact scientific reason, but it's smaller. It'll appear, actually, I'm sorry, it'll appear smaller than all the others, okay? But just as powerful, if not more, because you get two full days of 100% illumination. And this does not happen very often. So where you normally would have the energy last three days before and three days after, this one, it'll be a little bit longer, so it'll go... It'll be an extra day. So it'll be four days after as opposed to three days after, if that makes sense. Okay, so I wanted to let you guys know so you could take advantage of that and know that it's not over as soon as like the next day. It's actually going um, until it's two full days. So it's important. Now, a lot of people ask me, is the moon phase is important? Uh, to work with them, and in my opinion, I mean, depend. like, I'm just a stickler, so even when I do workings, I try to even get not only the right moon phase, but the right planetary hour, the right day of the week, not always, it's not always possible, obviously, because, you know, especially when you're doing client work, it's not always possible to do exactly everything in the right planetary hour, day, but the moon phase, at least one or the other. And if you can't work with the moon, some, some witches don't. Some witches don't 
really like if a deity if deities work with you they work with you regardless of the moon phase but it's just the energy of the moon phase that just adds to it um but you can use the sun phases which is on a daily thing okay so basically from sunrise to high noon that's when you bring in and then after about high noon like two after about 2 to 30 then you start taking away so from 2 30 to dusk to, you know to the sunset that's when you would take away so for anybody who can't work with moon phases you can use the sun phase thank you myra thank you so much for the 20 dollars. oh honey you did not have to do that thank you babe and by the way yesterday i i misunderstood what was happening in the live i thought you were one of my sister's clients that were i didn't know it was you right i but when i watched it back i felt bad because i thought you were one of her clients like in the live like hounding her so i apologize for that all i saw was her saying you know something but I misunderstood, so I apologize for that. No, that don't have to. I knew that that's why you you do not have to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. I I misunderstood the situation, and my sis is kind of sensitive because she was accused of coming into my life to steal clients, which is so not true. She's the most loyal, respectful person ever, and she would hi Millet the witch. Not I. Are you my Kurdish? my Kurdish brother over here. Is that you? Thank you, babe. But, um, so that's why she like shut it down. But I understood what you meant when I, when I read back the, the thing. Hey, boo. I wasn't sure, but then I was like, that's gotta be him. I've got, I will check my DMs. I haven't been in my DMs cause yo, you guys, it's a freaking, like I get anxiety. Like I get anxiety. I do not turn on my messenger. I do not look at my Facebook. That's why I have an assistant for my email. Because if I go in that shit and I see like hundreds of unread messages, I will get anxiety. Like it will literally affect my mental. I get overwhelmed. Am I go, girl, me on a date? No, I have work to do. I just went to go pick up some stuff and um, I went to the car wash and just like did, you know, ran errands while I had the chance. So, um, Saturday full moon days are good to do releasing, to release, like blockbuster releasing. Actually, Saturday full moon days are good for hex work, things like that. Um, but I don't do it because I am doing love work. That's, that's why I stick to the moon phases because I do... Two weeks of love work, two weeks of dark work, two weeks of love work, two weeks of dark work. I don't like to mix the energy. I just, I'm, I'm anal like that. But anyway, and about, I got a lot of panicked emails today because yesterday um, I told you guys that soon I'm, I'm not going to be taking clients anymore. That doesn't mean I'm just going to turn my back on all my current clients. I might just take a long sabbatical, a long break. You know, I need that for my own mental health. But um, that doesn't mean I'll just, you know, turn my back on those who I'm already working with. Just FYI. I, you know, when you get to a point, and somebody pointed this out, one of my clients, actually, one of my babies. Um, she said, you know, in the service, I guess this would be considered the service industry, you get to a point where you have so many returning clients, you really can't take new clients. So, oh, and Elizabeth, I, I'll still be doing readings, no matter what. I'll still be doing readings, coaching, stuff like that. But, I was, but I'm just really considering just not taking clients, you know, for spell work. You know, that's it. But, of course, I'm already booked for so long, so I have to fulfill my obligations and fulfill the people that, already booked a console with me because that's not fair to them. And then once you're my client, unless you're a hound and you drive me crazy or you stab me in the back, and that'll always come to the light, always come to the light. Um, have me working on something, you know, for extended periods of time. Meanwhile, you're paying another witch because you, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit, which has happened to me. And that's a big no, no. Um, you know, unless you do some shit like that, and again, I'll always find out, always find out. 
or talk about me behind my back or have bad intentions for me, it'll always be revealed. Always. And it always does. So, and I, that rarely ever happens. Like I will say, I've been very blessed to have good, you know, loyal, amazing clients, but I'm very picky too. I don't allow myself to get put in those positions. But once in a while, one will slip through the crack and you know, a couple of bad apples will spoil the bunch. So yeah, I, did I say I wasn't gonna, but, but what I was saying, one of my clients said, you know, you get in the service industry, you get to a point where you can't even take new clients because you have so many loyal clients, returning clients. So it gets to a point where you can't, and you don't have to take new people. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, like I said, knock on wood, mashallah, 64% and it fluctuates, but 64% of my sales are returning clients that are contacting me for something totally different. So, I mean, that's what a good business foundation is. You want to make your clients happy. So I'm just saying, if you're already my client, don't have to panic and be like, oh, no, don't leave me. I'm not going to leave you unless you give me a reason to leave you. Once my baby, always my baby. So, <laughs> Nicole, hey, babe, I miss you. Sure, I just need to hear your voice. You are my voice of reason. Aw, love you, Nicole. Down for life, baby, KP. That's my babe. You guys all know who you are, and I love you guys so much. And I would never just be like, all right, y'all, I'm done, peace, you know, I wouldn't do that. So if you guys need me, no matter whether I'm taking new clients or not, I'm still going to be there for you. When have I ever not? So uh, thank you, Lean Bean. Happy full moon, sis. Love you, sis. I love you more, babe. It's so nice to see your face in my lives. Well, not your real face, but your, your, your picture and your name in my life because I've been missing you. And Sethunia... All of you guys. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you about the full moon, natural beauty. Hey, love you guys. Um, so take advantage of that shit. Manifest prosperity, love. Um, Saturday is a good time to do dark work if you're not. Now, I don't recommend you do dark work if you're doing a lot of like love and money stuff. Try to stick to one thing, you know, but if you're not and you have it set out to fuck someone up, so today would be a good day. Um, yeah, and you have two whole days of full illumination to do it. So how about Sunday? No, babe. I mean, to mess someone up. Oh, and just so you guys know, Sunday and Thursday um, are good for prosperity and abundance and good luck, money, that sort of thing. So Sundays and Thursdays, okay? Um, and, you know, when it's full moon energy, you could pretty much use the days interchangeably. I just don't do love work on Saturdays. So after midnight Friday, I do not do love work because it's the day of Saturn. I just don't. I'm like I said, it might be just a mental thing for me that I just, you know, and if and whatever you believe in your mental is a reality in in manifesting. If you believe Saturday is not a good day to do love work, then that it's not a good day to do love work, and that's just how I feel. So, yeah, that's it. What you believe in the spiritual world and in manifestation is reality. Perception is reality. So don't do things that go against what you believe or what your perception is. Does that make sense? Anyway. All right, y'all. So happy full moon, y'all. I mean, it's not yet, but it's coming. Happy full moon energy. Love you guys so much. Thank you all for all the kind words and the encouragement and the begging me not to leave. I love you guys so much. You guys are the reason why I didn't leave last year. Just so you know. I, I've been wanting to stop taking clients since last year. And I stayed because one of my one of my subscribers, shout out Lawanda, she's like, girl, you better sit your ass down. <laughs> and she goes, You're you change one life at a time. And actually, I know Lawanda through something else, but I'm not gonna say, but 
But, uh, I mean, I've never met her in person, but you guys, anyway. So, um, so she's like, you change lives one day at a time, one whiny something at a time. She, she, it was funny. She's like, you better sit your ass down. You ain't going nowhere. And that really made me chuckle. Just, she like checked my ass. Bitch, you better sit your ass down somewhere. You ain't going nowhere. Anyway, so I love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe. Love and light. I'm going to try to do a spell for you guys later. Toodles, bitch.